Hello guys. Welcome to J for Java. Today I'll be teaching you how to install Java Development Kit. Before installing JDK, there is prerequisite that we need to check whether already JDK is installed on your machine. The traditional way is start control panel programs and features and check whether JDK is available here the other alternative is go for browser make sure the internet connection is available go for java.com this site here you have a link called do I have java this will take you to a verification page we verify java version on this machine since it's not available it says install plugin click this free java download and you'll get start download JDK to save over time I've already downloaded Java my computer the very important thing is I have created a development drive it's highly recommended it's as per the industrial standards for every developer it's required that you need to create a development drive where all the applications softwares projects related to development will be placed in this drive so the software that I have placed here it's JDK downloaded file will be in this format JDK 7U45 Windows I586 U stands for update 45 7 stands for the current version that is 1.7.4 in real time we will be referring only 7.0 and u is update 45 and its my architecture is 86, 86 x86 double click this the more alternative is to check whether jdk is installed on the machine will be done by jdk executable file itself it will check whether there is any previous version available on this machine so since it's not available it's right away taking with the installation procedure click next the very important thing is three, three units are available here development tools source code of JDK public GRE public GRE should be installed only on production systems not on development system this is a development system and it's not a production system so it will be excluding public do, do, public GRE and very important thing is always it's recommended that the development software you install it should be installed in the development drive so create a development drive and create a folder called jdk underscore 7.0 preferably go for always go for underscore or hyphen it will be useful to create path or class path environmental variable I'll be teaching this both path and class path environment variable in the current coming sessions okay so these two tools will be installed development drive jdk7 underscore 7.0 next wait for some time so we get installed in this tutorial only about the installation and the next thing I'll be updating is our creating with developing programs without path variable and executing the programs in the bin folder so it will get installed in a couple of seconds
So meanwhile, we'll see where this JDK is installed. Development drive JDK 7.4. This is the area which it's installed. So here, bin folder it all it contains all the binary files. Mainly, we'll be using Java, Java C, Java Doc, Java P, and etc. Include it contains all Win32 files, library, rt.jar, tools.jar. So these are the files we'll be using in the coming sessions. And the SRC is the source code of JDK. We have the complete authority or its license to download, edit, manipulate, and customize your own JDKs. So this confirmation says that JDK. 7.0 update 45 is installed on this machine. Close this window. We can have this next steps to see the Java doc, the release notes, license. So you find a free time, go to this and refer all the documents, Java files, APIs of the JDK installed. Close this as of now. This is the file directories and files will be installed in JDK. In the next tutorial, I'll be teaching about how to do coding using JDK 7.4, including all the features of 7.4 in the coming tutorial. So as if now, practice the way, practice installing Java Development Kit, and in future I'll be teaching you about how to install, how to work on programs using JDK 7.4 features. So stay tuned guys and do not forget to subscribe to my videos. Thank you.